Unit 11. Did you have a good time? Page 70. Vocabulary. Look at the picture. What happened? Write the correct letter, then listen and check your answers. 1. H. Break your arm. 2. C. Miss your plane. 3. B. Forget your passport. 4. F. Lose your luggage. 5. A. Sit on the beach. 6. G. Write postcards. 7. D. Visit an art gallery. 8. E. Climb a mountain. Page 71. Conversation. Complete the conversation. Then listen and check your answers. Practice the conversation with a partner. You look great. Thanks. I was on vacation last week. Where did you go? I went to Hawaii with my sister. Wow. Did you have a good time? We had an awesome time. It's a great place. We spent every day on the beach, and every night we went to a great restaurant. And did you meet anyone interesting? Yes, I did. Really? Tell me more. No, it's a secret. Page 72. Language Practice. The Simple Past. Did you go anywhere on vacation? Yes, I did. I went to Bangkok. No, I didn't. I stayed home. What did you do? I went to the beach. Where did you stay? I stayed in a nice hotel. Who did you go with? I went with my sister. Page 72. Pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Listen. Notice the reduced sounds of did you. 1. Did you go on vacation? Did you go on vacation? 2. What did you do? What did you do? 3. Where did you stay? Where did you stay? 4. How did you get there? How did you get there? Page 73. Listening. Listen to the people talking about their vacations and complete the chart. 1. Carl. Hi. Oh. Hi, Lucy. How was your vacation in Hong Kong? Uh, good and bad. Really? You didn't like Hong Kong? I loved Hong Kong. It's an awesome place. I see. So what was bad? Well, on the third day I was there, I lost my credit card. Oh, no. How did you do that? I left it in an ATM. I took my money and forgot to take the card. That's terrible. What did you do? Well, I called the credit card company, of course. They canceled the card so no one else could use it. Then I went to the police, and my card was at the police station. Oh, that's great. No, it wasn't. It wasn't? No. Why not? Because the credit card company canceled my card. I couldn't buy anything. Ah, so what did you do? I walked around the streets a lot. Hong Kong is a great city for walking. 2. Hi, Abby. Hi, Bob. You were in Vietnam, right? Right. How was it? Vietnam is fabulous, but I had a problem. What was that? I didn't have a visa when I got there. Oh, 
Didn't they tell you about that when you left the U.S.? I didn't travel to Vietnam from the U.S. I traveled from Singapore. Oh, so what happened? Well, the people at the airport were really helpful. They checked my passport, I waited for an hour, and they gave me a visa. Great. So where did you go in Vietnam? Hanoi. Did you like it? Yes, it's a wonderful city, and the people are great. What about the food? Oh, the food is amazing. I really enjoyed the food. 3. Hey, Denny. Hey, Vanessa. How are things? Good. How was Acapulco? Um, the city was nice, but on the last day, something terrible happened. What? Well, I was on the beach. The beach was terrible? No. I met these really cool people from France. From France? Nice. So we went to a restaurant for some food. It was excellent, and I practiced my French and my Spanish. I see. But then when it was time to pay, I looked for my bag. I didn't have it with me. Someone stole it? No. I left it on the beach. Oh, no. That's not good. Did you go back to the beach? Yes, of course. But it wasn't there. And my passport was in it. Oh, no. Well, I thought my passport was in it. Page 73. Listening. Listen to the people talking about their vacations and complete the chart. 1. Carl, hi. Oh, hi, Lucy. How was your vacation in Hong Kong? Uh, good and bad. Really? You didn't like Hong Kong? I loved Hong Kong. It's an awesome place. I see. So what was bad? Well, on the third day I was there, I lost my credit card. Oh, no. How did you do that? I left it in an ATM. I took my money and forgot to take the card. That's terrible. What did you do? Well, I called the credit card company, of course. They canceled the card so no one else could use it. Then I went to the police, and my card was at the police station. Oh, that's great. No, it wasn't. It wasn't? No. Why not? Because the credit card company canceled my card. I couldn't buy anything. Ah, so what did you do? I walked around the streets a lot. Hong Kong is a great city for walking. 2. Hi, Abby. Hi, Bob. You were in Vietnam, right? Right. How was it? Vietnam is fabulous, but I had a problem. What was that? I didn't have a visa when I got there. Oh, didn't they tell you about that when you left the U.S.? I didn't travel to Vietnam from the U.S. I traveled from Singapore. Oh, so what happened? Well, the people at the airport were really helpful. They checked my passport, I waited for an hour, and they gave me a visa. Great. So where did you go in Vietnam? Hanoi. Did you like it? Yes, it's a wonderful city, and the people are great. What about the food? Oh, the food is amazing. I really enjoyed the food. 3. Hey, Denny. Hey, Vanessa. How are things? Good. How was Acapulco? Um, the city was nice, but on the last day, something terrible happened. What? Well, I was on the beach. The beach was terrible? No. I met these really cool people from France. From France? Nice. So we went to a restaurant for some food. It was excellent, and I practiced my French and my Spanish. I see. But then when it was time to pay, I looked for my bag. I didn't have it with me. Someone stole it? No. I left it on the beach. Oh, no. That's not good. Did you go back to the beach? Yes, of course. But it wasn't there, and my passport was in it. Oh, no. Well, I thought my passport was in it. Page 73. Listening Plus. 
Listen to more of Denny's conversation. Put the events in the correct order. So what did you do, Denny? Well, first I went to the police in Acapulco, and I filled out a form about my bag. And I said, what about my passport? And they said, sorry, go to Mexico City. So I went to Mexico City. What happened there? I went to the Canadian consulate. They were really helpful. I filled out another form, and I made a list of stuff in my bag. My passport, a book, sunglasses, sun cream. Then something amazing happened. What? I got a text from the hotel in Acapulco, and guess what? They found my passport under my bed. So your passport wasn't in your bag? No. Excellent. Wait, there's more. I got a call from the police in Acapulco. They found my bag. Awesome. But they were really worried. A nice lady said, Sorry, senor, but there is no passport in the bag. Did you tell her? Of course. I said, I'm sorry. The passport was under the bed in my hotel room. That's funny. So what did you do? I flew back to Acapulco, got my passport from the hotel, got my bag from the police, and enjoyed the rest of my vacation. Page 74. Reading. What can you do with an old airplane? When planes can't fly anymore, they usually go to an airplane junkyard, or they sit somewhere in an airport. However, something different happened to an old Boeing 727 at the airport in San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica. The plane was built in 1965 and flew for South Africa Air and Avianca Airlines in Colombia. When it stopped flying, they parked it in San Jose. The Manuel Antonio National Park is on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, about 130 kilometers from San Jose. Some people say it's one of the 12 most beautiful national parks in the world. There's a hotel in the park called the Costa Verde Hotel. The owners of the hotel decided to use the Boeing 727. They took it into the national park and rebuilt it as part of the hotel. The inside of the plane is made of Costa Rican wood. The furniture is from Java, Indonesia. There is an amazing view of the ocean. Guests can also see plenty of animal life in the trees, including monkeys and toucans. The owners of the hotel got the idea of using the plane from a company in Oregon, United States. The Oregon company buys old 727 planes and turns them into hurricane-proof homes. What else can you do with an old airplane? Any ideas? Unit 11, page 66, listening. Hi, Elliot. Where were you last week? Don't you remember, Jared? I was on vacation. Oh, yeah. How was it? It was awesome. I didn't want to come home. I'm sorry. I forgot. Where did you go? I went to Vancouver with my sister, Stella. You know her, right? 
Of course, I know Stella. So tell me, how was the weather there? It was terrific. It didn't rain once while we were there. Oh, that's good. What did you do there? We did so many things. First of all, I climbed a big mountain. Where did you climb a mountain? Are there mountains near Vancouver? Yeah, there are many right near the city. Really? That's cool. What else did you do? Stella and I visited some really amazing art galleries. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. But Stella did. She bought a great photo, but I lost it. What? How did you lose it? I don't know. I think I left it in the hotel. She was really angry with me. Anyway, I also spent time on the beach. How was that? Nice. The water was very cold, so I just sat on the beach, read a book, and listened to the water. It was very relaxing. I went swimming every day, though, in the hotel swimming pool. Oh, and I almost forgot. On the last day, my sister and I took a walking tour of the city. Vancouver really is a great place. Sounds interesting. Did you write any postcards? Yes, I did. Lots of them. Oh, but, um... Well, I didn't get one. Sorry. I wrote them, but I forgot to send them. How about I send you one on my next vacation? Unit 11, page 66, Pronunciation. Listen to parts of the conversation again. Is did you reduced or unreduced? Choose the correct answer. 1. I'm sorry. I forgot. Where did you go? I went to Vancouver with my sister, Stella. 2. It didn't rain once while we were there. Oh, that's good. What did you do there? We did so many things. 3. First of all, I climbed a big mountain. Where did you climb a mountain? Are there mountains near Vancouver? 4. Stella and I visited some really amazing art galleries. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. But Stella did. 5. She bought a great photo, but I lost it. What? How did you lose it? I don't know. 6. Vancouver really is a great place. Sounds interesting. Did you write any postcards? Yes, I did. Lots of them.